Hi all, uh, today I'll give you a quick overview on Influx EDR, uh, which is edge data replication uh, and how to use it with Node-RED. Uh, so before EDR, we used to store data on edge as well as cloud. Uh, so this, is, this was done for backups, if there are any connection issues from the edge to the cloud, uh, like loss of internet or something goes wrong, or something goes haywire anywhere. So at least we could fe manually fetch the data from the edge. Um, back to a cloud. Uh, so the setup was a little complicated. It's like maintaining two code bases uh, that are kind of similar. Uh, now with EDR, it, it basically reduces a step. Uh, so we only store data on the edge uh, and I'll use Influx overview here. So basically we only store data on the edge and Influx takes care of backing up the data uh, or you can have policies um, to downsample the data and save it on the Influx cloud, and Influx uh, handles all of that, all of that uh, uh, for you. Uh, so here is how I have set it up. So coming to Node-RED, I have a Node-RED running on a Jetson Nano, and uh, I've installed Influx uh, 2.0 uh, using the Docker image. Uh, so you can download Influx 2.0 from uh, from this link right here. Uh, by the way, I'll, I'll, I'll include all these links in the description below. So uh, a few things about uh, the Docker image, either you can basically run the container from this command here. So once you uh, uh, do this, you should have access to uh, like the Docker uh, GUI, uh, sorry, the Influx GUI. So it'll ask you to create a password and you can create a token, you can create a bucket, uh, org ID and so on and so forth. Uh, but yeah, once you once you run this command, you'll have to set all those things up before you can start saving data to your edge uh, influx. Uh, I would recommend you to try out this. So this command includes all available options. So you can define the username, password, org, bucket, uh, the token, retention policies, so you don't have to manually go to the GUI and set everything up. Uh, so I've already done all those steps. I have a bucket that's called influx test. I have some API tokens to access the bucket. Uh, so everything is already configured here. Uh, but yeah, you can follow these, uh, follow, the, follow the link in the description to install influx and to set it up. So once this is done, you should have Influx running on your device uh, or your local host uh, and a copy of Node-RED. So coming to Node-RED, so here's a quick little flow uh, that pushes some mock data to our Influx local. And uh, this flow is also available for download. So again, check the description below. So what this flow is doing, it's injecting a message every 10 seconds and it's pushing some mock data, uh, temperature, humidity, vibration with some tags onto a local influx. So I'm using the Stack Hero uh, influx DB node. So make sure to download that before you uh, start using this flow. And I've already configured um, the whole sport token organization and again, my bucket is influx test, and which is what uh, we are using right here on our edge influx. So once this is done, as I mentioned, I'm injecting every 10 seconds. So the message goes to the bucket every 10 seconds with some random fields, uh, temperature, humidity, vibration, and battery values. I have some tags, device ID, hardware version, software version, location. So basically data is being pushed to local influx. Uh, to check the data, you can again hop onto your Influx uh, Edge GUI. Come to the Data Explorer. And I guess we are already there. So I'll select my bucket. My measurement is machine sensor, which I have probably defined right here. And let's select a bunch of fields. And this is my device ID, which was a tag. I have other tags as well, but let's just hit submit. And this will give me data for past one hour. So this is all on your Influx Edge. 
and yeah as the new data comes in it'll keep up keep on updating uh, because we are pushing every 10 seconds now let's say the, your edge part is done but you also want this data on the cloud uh, so for that we'll use influx uh, data replication so basically what you do is again I'll, I'll refer to influx documentation and these links are in the description below the steps are quite simple so the first thing is uh, you'll, uh, you're going to create a remote connection so basically what that does it that will tell our local machine so in this case my local host is 10.0.88 and I'll use my authorization token I've created I'll uh, I'll fill in all these uh, values and once I do this request there'll be a remote connection between my local and my edge uh, sorry my edge influx and my cloud influx once you create a remote connection so basically your local influx is connected to your cloud influx and this step this will give you a remote id and that's what you'll use in the next step so i've already ran this command on my local machine and to keep my confidential information well confidential uh, i won't be running these commands again uh, so yeah you can uh, uh, run this on your local machine or on your edge device so once this is done we are going to create an endpoint to create a replication screen uh, stream so here you'll uh, use the replication API, which is uh, this uh, second part here. So you'll send a post request to the replication API, and here's this API. So you'll give your local bucket ID, and to get the local bucket ID, you can basically go to buckets and copy this ID. So make sure you do use the bucket ID. You can play around with these options, uh, read about it in the documentation, name of your replication stream, org ID, uh, which you again can get from your instance, you hit about, and this is organization ID. So this is what you use for the replication stream. Remote bucket name is the name of the bucket where you wanna push data to. So here I'm using a bucket name called PDI. So on remote, all the data will be pushed to bucket uh, PDI with measurement, the same measurement but that we are using on the edge. And this remote ID is something that you'll get from the previous step, which is when you create the remote endpoint. Sorry, uh, which is when you create the remote uh, connection. So once you hit this, uh, Influx will take care of replicating all the data that you're pushing to the edge, to my edge Influx, and backing it, backing it up to, uh, to the cloud Influx. So here, uh, let's see if I look at my data here. Let's look at past 15 minutes. So this is how my data looks on my edge. And again, if I look at my cloud setup, yeah, so you can see the data is uh, being backed up to the cloud as well. So yeah, uh, there you have it. So I hope this gives you a good idea how to set up uh, Influx as data replication and how you can use uh, something like this uh, on Node-RED. Um, thank you.